ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we have a customer that has a materials delivery truck that is at a construction site after we've had a whole lot of rain, and apparently it is buried down to the bumpers on both ends, uh, and we're not able to get off the roadway. This road I am very familiar with. It is narrow, curvy, hilly, and has no shoulder. Uh, so we're going to have to stay on the road, which means we're sending the traffic control unit and we may end up calling the police department for additional traffic support. Uh, just depends on where this unit is and what kind of line of sight we have. Uh, for some of my viewers, you may recognize the area. Well, probably not because it was at night, but I did an icy recovery, an icy dicey recovery of a vehicle, a passenger vehicle uh, last winter that I really shouldn't have done because uh, I was by myself. It was in the at the bottom of a hill on this same road. Uh, should have came back during the daylight hours or had some traffic assistance at that time, but I didn't. Uh, learn from our mistakes and move forward. Nobody injured here just uh, could prove to be a uh, challenge considering this is a big old truck and it's buried pretty deep. Anyway, here we go. Okay, we should be about a mile out. As I said earlier, Narrow road, no shoulder, lots of rain, so we cannot get off the road. Not exactly sure where this is, but if it's where I think it is, it's gonna be extremely limited sight. somewhere. Or probably right there at that house that's being built. Light them up. You have arrived. Oh my goodness. Let's go walk it and see what oh, we got. He is very, very Hold on. Yeah, okay. in case we need traffic control on this narrow road. I know, that's why I stepped around myself. Yep. You're going to have to set up traffic control. Turn on your lights, air aboard. You're going to have to be back further a little bit. I'm going to walk in and see what we got here. I can stay on the road and pull him, hopefully, but... I think the best thing to do is go right down there and pull him straight up. Yeah. Once, here's... Woo! Well, wow. Well, I had another, I had one of my other trucks right here. Yep. He can move forwards and backwards by about this much. My problem is, is my DOT bumper is digging yep. into the gravel. Yep. So I think if we can get some kind of a straight pull from, yep. the, from the road... I can pull off the side, but my outriggers... I know. Aren't going to do much there. Well, I'm like I said, my. If you pull him up, if we can get him pulled about five feet to where his tires start the, hitting this solid ground, yep. the DOT bumper come up, and I think he can pull out. Okay, it's not hitting that. No, it's the not. retaining wall. All right. Like I said, it, it is ugly, but I don't know that it's going to be that poor. Like I said the, the hard part is finding a, a direct line to him. Exactly. Like I said, he's been pulling. We can pull forward and backwards about 
two to three feet. Yeah, but every time you do, it's going to sink that front end in oh, even no, worse. That's, well, that's where. It's already got the bumper bent on that side, or else it was already bent. I don't know. It doesn't doesn't matter as long as nobody's hurt. No. The tank's not in danger at this point. No, like I said, I have a little. Now it's going to take a decent tug. But yeah, it's going to take. But the big thing is that the drag through that until the tires start raising it up. Yeah. That's where we got. That's why our other truck would pull it out because all it wanted to do is kept pulling us over. I don't know on a side pull. Well, I don't know if you can get in the in the uh, well. I, I of mean, road and block traffic. I can I can do a side pull easy enough if I can stretch my outriggers, but with that drop off there and no yeah, shoulder, I don't know how far your that, outriggers go. They go out uh, about ten feet. Uh, I, they're independent. I can run one outrigger out on this side and I can keep traffic going. But if I need, I was gonna say, what if, we shut, if we shut it down, well, I, I would have to, the the hill we, shut it if, down if we shut it down, we have to call police oh, to oh, shut it down. We can't do it. Oh, okay. That makes you and me and everybody else here liable. Yeah. If we call the police department, they're in charge of traffic. Oh, okay. Nobody gets you're, in trouble. You're, you're on, nobody gets in trouble. It's on private property. Yeah, you're, you're the boss. Well, if you back in here and says you're under your tier, if, can if, you, if you can get enough pull, or? it's gonna pull it sideways. Yeah. It's gonna go in a direct line with whatever you put. It's oh, yeah. shortest distance between any two points of the straight line. So I need to be in a straight line with it to pull it straight backwards. Yeah. What we can do is I can try. Let's run a line to it and try it first without shutting it down. Um, if it doesn't work, we haven't lost anything. Oh, no, if it I... works, we've gained the world. So, Yep, that's 20 footer. Baby. 
in a basket configuration like this $26,400 shouldn't take much which is stronger than what you would think for so you just want him in, the, in there neutral and straighten the wheels yep here as soon as I get my I need boom up to force that uh, yeah. those legs down and hopefully not slide yeah that's the and hopefully a single line will do it I'm hoping it pulls up on that DOT bumper a little bit well that's, that's why I'm going to get some lift yeah I'll try to anyway My truck doesn't slide. Yeah, it should come right out. It should come right out. All right, everything in neutral. No. Okay. Put it in neutral. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Re go release your parking brake. Put it in neutral and just steer it out. Don't put it in drive unless I ask you to. If I do, I'll come up beside you. Just guide it out is all I want you to do at this point. Hey, Ethan, watch my truck. I'm getting ready to pull. We're just going to go a little bit at a time. Oh, yeah. Take your time. I'm... The last thing I want to do is have an issue with your truck. Well, I'm floating already. What? I'm floating. I know. But we let we put a little bit of pressure on it. And break the suction. Look at my outrigger on the other side. It's off the oh, pavement. Off the oh, yeah. That's because I don't have my outrigger spread all the way out. If I, I was able to spread them out, which I may have to, and just crib under them. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But it's slowly moving back. That's part of the reason I put the strap in there. The strap. The strap. Well, what I'm doing is I'm putting tension on the strap and letting the strap break the suction. It's slowly coming along. I'll raise the outrigger so it's floating a little bit and then it comes back to me. No. Just going to have to take it a little bit at a time. It's moving him. We just gotta be patient with it. Yeah. They're gonna have to wait. Be polite, but tell them they're gonna have to wait. All right, I'm gonna have to have him put it in uh, reverse and just. Yeah. idle okay. try to help break that suction yep. oh all right lock your power divider in put it in reverse and just idle do not give it any throttle just idle to help break that suction is all I want just a little bit.
There you go, keep it going. Nice and easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay, stay slow and steady, just like you're doing, all right? Go ahead. My feet are about, my outrigger pad's about eight inches off the ground. Key to this is not getting in a hurry. He's moving down here, it's just taking a little bit at a time. We can ever get that steer up out of that hump, we'll be all right. I can't get much any much more height with it. Yeah, just have to be careful with it. with it right at this moment. and set your brake. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're going to have to uh, send that outrigger out and give me some more platform. We're going to have to crib under that outrigger, Ethan. We're going to have to extend this and crib out under it. I don't like it, but we got to. Yep, thank you. Did you put batteries in it, Gavin? Uh, no. I was going to have you grab a couple of Here. They're up. Uh, they should be right. Gavin, you're going to have to start direct the traffic. We've got that one right here. Uh, this? Keep on coming. We're going to have to build it up. We don't have any option. Otherwise, I'm going to flip. All right, bring it up because it when it pushes down it's going to sink down in the
Yeah. Yeah. We got to have traffic control or we're gonna have to call PD. Sir, do you want main? Yeah, I gotta I need main. What? Good. Test, test. Okay. Here, help me set these up. We need another one under there. What? Yeah, yeah, we got you. Here. Grab another one under there. Long ways, no. Long ways. I want to support those boards. Ah. Come down with the outrigger. Let's see what we got first. Up, up. That's why I was trying to get it. Now, now come down. No, just go, go down. All right, we'll stop. All right, go ahead and go some more. A little more. Okay, stop. Where's my remote? No, it's not at full extension, but I want it to uh, dig in like it is to help keep. All right, watch my truck real close right there. All right, go ahead. Same thing again. Put it in reverse. Let her eat. Come on back. Watch so Watch so that uh, outriggers don't sink down into the uh, pavement, but Well, my uh, driver's side wheel is coming up, too. It's, believe it or, believe it or not, it is, believe it or not, it is moving slowly, but it is moving. Ethan, help me watch that truck. We're in an awfully bad spot with it.
want to bring the boom down some, Ethan, so we're not lifting so much. I hate. I know a lift would be better, but it's putting such a uh, tilt on the truck. We're either going to have to build the outriggers up, the outrigger pads up, because it's pivoting on the edge of the road. We're not gaining any ground, or not much. Every time I pull him, we're gaining some, but. Now, let's just. He is down there now. Yeah, it's not lifting. It's not lifting. Some Me too. Can he can he put it down? Uh, well, as long as the truck is in reverse, it goes up. Gotcha. Now okay. you might be able to put it in neutral. That may go down. I don't know. But I don't know if you need him right. turning or not. Well, let's have him put it right now. Uh, let's see if we can get that tag axle down. down. Yep. I don't know how much pressure we can have to push on. If it brings that bumper up and clears that gravel any. Hey, go ahead and put it in neutral and put your tag axle down. Having him put this tag axle down to bring this bumper up out of the gravel. Hopefully. Well, he's got no traction with the uh, drives. The drives are just sitting there spinning. Let's see what this does first here. Hold on. Well, you put the air to it, but it ain't pushing up. Do what, Ethan? No, I'd, I'd like to get more under our outrigger, though, so we're not pivoting off that. Yeah, we're going to have to build a good, solid base here. It's just swallowing these boards. Ah, there's another big one. That's the problem is the ground's so dang soft. I got a really nice big one here, but trying to dig it out. Okay. That probably needs to be a base. We're gonna have to rebuild this, I think. Well, there. That right there. build this situation here. Let's, yep, let's, let's go long ways with these. Me another one. There you go. Okay, what do you want now? Ah. I want my truck not to float. I've got the pulling power, it's pulling on it, it's just not not enough. Here, hold on. Do it like 
like that, so it's pushing down on all of them. It's all right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Up. Okay. Down. Down. Yes. It'll push straight down through those. Or it should. And settle in. Push her down. Whoa, whoa. We're gonna have to get the record just to lift these out of there. All right. There we go. Hopefully. It's still pushing down. Are your brakes released? Release your brakes, please. Yeah, release your brakes, please. Not yet. Let's see what we got here. No, we may end up having to shut. We may have to just shut the road down. Well, come more off the back end, get and and be able to. Well, be able to spread the outrigger so that they're on pavement. Every time I bring the winch in, it moves about an inch or so. Well, I'm just barely engaging it every little bit. We've stopped moving down here. Put it in reverse now, please. No. I see it. I see it. Well, between him and I, we're we're moving slowly. It's coming. I can see the gravel moving. The drives are off the ground. I don't want to put any more on it right now. All right, stop, set your brakes.
We're gonna have to shut it down. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. the reason it won't come up because I know we're digging. Yeah. But that tire is on that, on that flat, flat and it's not letting that tire roll. Yeah. I mean, you see it's trying to touch. Yep. I wonder if there's any way we can move, move we're gonna it We're going to have to dig some of that out. Yeah. Well, what I wanted to do. I mean, do, it's trying to, it's, it's, it's trying to it's pop up. Yeah. It's engine. It, yeah. It, it's not letting that tire come on up the thing because that. Ethan. Ethan, grab a shovel, a pointed shovel. Spade shovel. I'm gonna have to call PD and get them down here to help shut the road down. Because while we're digging and resetting everything, I'm gonna go ahead and get PD here. Yes, this is Ron with Midwest Truck out of Scott City. Uh, I am trying to winch out a uh, truck from a construction site on Highway A between New Hamburg and Chaffee. I need traffic I need traffic assistance please we're in a blind curve on a hill and I am going to have to shut the highway down briefly to get this thing out of here yes ma'am thank you very much bye bye well I'm gonna sit in that truck until yeah, go ahead you got and warm up. something to do no sir you go right ahead do what right. you need to do uh, when we get this when they get traffic set up for us I'm going to run two lines. I'm going to take that strap off there. I'm yeah. going to run two lines so I can control it better. Yeah. And we've also got more pull on it. You're going to try to get caddy corner. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Completely off the side. I'm going to hug this side as much as possible and cut it real hard. Yeah. Right about where that driveway right. is. More off the back. And the cut truck. more off the back. Yes, sir. Get get more uh, leverage on it. Sounds like a plan. That's exact. Like I said, we were going to try it this no, way. No, no. I'm, hey, I'm it, good, it got the I, I got you, it got the front end up, but you'll be sitting in the front of the truck and we get ready to start pulling again. Like I said, if you need us to do any digging, if you think we need to do any digging, I don't know how much you're gonna try to dig that. As long as I have access to these tow hooks. Okay, well then. Okay. Might be better off on the D-rings, but I hate That's I never D trust the welds because they're designed for a trailer. Sure. Oh yeah, because the hooks are actually bolted, ain't they? Yes. Bolted in well the front. So anyway, uh, we'll see the cab. We're gonna set it up here. We'll get you. Options. We'll get you. I gotta say, you probably don't need me here. No, if you, you need to get back to, if you, you need to. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to get some office yeah. work done. You here to drive a truck. Yeah. I think we got a pretty good plan. I think it's come right out once you get yep. it pulled up. Once I get in the right position and I can anchor myself, yeah. we'll move. Okay. It'll move it. Well, yeah, because it was moving anyway. Yeah. Just, it was. It was moving. It was just not enough. It just wouldn't pop loose. No. That's what I thought it was. I thought. Man, I was like, man, no, six inches. I think this is. Gonna... Once it ever comes up out of there, we're good. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. That'll work. Uh, if I can't shoot me, I know Talon knows how to get over well. Yeah. Ah, we're good. Right. We got you. Right, we got you. It. Okay, here's the plan. I've got two straps hooked to it. Whenever county gets here with uh, traffic control, we'll have them we can have our guys shut down here if they only send one deputy okay. or we can have uh, both of them shut down once it's shut down what i'm going to do come here okay. i'm going to pull forward and, and towards that angle. sign yep. towards that uh, i'm going to get more straight on with it that way i can deploy my outriggers and get a good solid base and get more i gotta have a solid platform Drag winch, it's 50,000 pounds, but we need a lift because of that uh, that bottom dinner. We've got to have a lift. Once we get it up out of that spot, I mean, well, you saw where it's at. 
once it comes past that spot we're good but i'm gonna have to have help dragging that uh those cables again i got the first one because you guys were working traffic which is fine everybody has a job to do you were doing it under each coming down watch your head Gavin, relay to him that we're about ready to shut down. And we'll get, uh, hey, Gavin, whenever I get repositioned, I need you over here helping me drag cable. That's why we need that deputy here, desperately, before we end up. Gavin, here's what's going to happen, buddy. I'm going to pull forward and edge towards that gravel. When I stop and plant myself, grab one of the two lines or both of them if you can manhandle it and go straight to those straps, one on each. Blue will go to the driver's side over there. I mean, it'd be just like, it, like it's lined up. Ethan, shut him down. Shut him down. Here we go. All right. We got to make this quick, guys. Saying right here, I want no, just block the road like you're doing right there. Leave it blocked. All right, Gavin, grab one and let's roll. Come on, Gavin. Football, dig, 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 dig. That cable gets heavy after a while. I feel like it gets heavier the more you come It does because you're carrying more weight. Uh, sometime I'll go over the weight of these cables with you. Whew. Holy crap. Got it, Kevin? All right, bud. Holy crap. Holy crap, Ola. This ought to be much better. Mucho better. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Still breathing hard, Gavin? Uh, I am. <laughs> now it's just, this is hard work. Especially slogging through that mud.
All right, Ethan, reach up and hit the winch brake. Gavin, have him reach up and hit the winch brake. Now we got a decent platform to work from. I don't have to worry quite so much about it floating on us. Oh. That wind's got a bite. Gonna snug up. Okay. Go ahead and release your brakes. Ethan, if you notice, I'm turning the boom so that it's in straight line with this. Or as straight as we can get, anyway. I want to try to get this low side up out of here. It's going to rip that mud flap off. There's no... Unless you guys want to dig... Here, Gavin. Here, I'm slacking off. Let's dig down and try to save that mud flap. I know it's not that big of a deal, but... You're going to have to get a shovel and dig it out. We're moving now. Whew. Goodness gracious. All right, everybody good? Yep. All right, Ethan, walk over so you can communicate with the driver, please. Just go this way. I don't have any attention on it. I just got it snugged up, that's all I got. Alright, just make sure that his brakes are on. Or br brake, sorry. Brakes are released. I don't want him to spin. Now let me see if I can just muscle him through it. Okay? Alright, good to go, Ethan. There we go. Oh man, now that my truck sits still, make this job so much easier. She's coming right up out of there. Look at that, look at that. That's all we needed was a good platform. Woo, we got her woofed now. Well, well, this, this passenger side is floating, quite literally. The front drives are in the air. If he can, yes. Oh, that was... Well, we ain't done yet. There's a uh, statues. Well, 
quiet. Okay. We may have to pull him again. I don't know. I may have to turn around and pull him the other way. All right, have him hold the brakes for a second. I'm gonna boom down so that I'm not getting quite the lift on the back end, so maybe he can get a little bit of traction. Now that we're, I just want a straight pull, I hope. Or more of a pull, not necessarily a straight pull, but more of a pull. I got him. Release brakes. Nope, because he's going to skate if he does. What we may have to do is may have to go down, get him backed up as much as we can, straight, have him straighten the tire, straighten the tires. What we can do is go down, we can go down and turn around and come back and grab the front end and spin him around. Yep, I figured as much. I just want it back far enough to where I can get the steer axle if we need it. I know. Sliding which way? It's going to put too much pull on that turret. <coughs> Might have to go low. Just give me a second. Can we get can we get in the road and get to the front of him yet or not? Not quite, can we? It's close. Alright, have him lock him down. I need help right here, real quick. Ah, uh, uh, darn it. Come on, you. There you go. Oh, sorry, bud. Yeah, I just tucked it up there, that way. All right, here, Ethan. Uh, grab it and that other one while I get the winches in. Uh, when I get moved, we'll tell the captain we can let these guys through for a minute until I get turned around. Or I'll tell him. Those straps go, uh, yep. Yeah, one orange strap on that front pin, that front full pin. Just one. Alright, Gavin, that one cone right there.
back a little further because I'm going to bring the rotator right back in amongst these cones for a moment. Okay. That way we can let traffic go through. And then I, I'm going on the right side just like we were normally driving. And then we'll let traffic through. Gavin, I can't see you, bud. Where are you? Okay. I will, yes. I will turn around and head back the opposite direction, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to tell Captain what's going on. Well, there's a there's a road up here right behind the captain. I might I'm going to walk down and talk to him. And and I'm going to not yet. Just let, let me talk to the captain here real quick, okay? Going to go ahead and let these guys through. And I'm going to get turned around. I'm going to come up here and try to turn around. But it, we should be able to keep one lane open then. Okay. Because we've got, him, we've got him back far enough. So if I get turned the opposite direction, I'm going to grab the nose of him, yeah. spin him around. And I should be able to do that from this lane so that we can keep alternating. You don't need anything else? You don't need any more? If, if you don't mind sticking around, it'd be great. If not, if I'll you... send another one because I've got a, I got a naked, I got some place I got to be here in a little bit, but I'll you have go ahead. You go ahead. Up. You go ahead. I'll you, have one of the other guys come up. All right, let's let they, these guys. Yeah. Ethan, we're going to let this end go through first. Hold your traffic. Hold your traffic. I got my PT in for the day. Got my PT in for the day. All right, I'm, I'm going to go turn around. That's a lot of work. I can hear you. It's going to be a multi-point turnaround here.
look at their guys. Well, I don't want to get on the edge too much because this is soft, soft, soft. I'm stopped. I am stopped. First you tell me go forward, then you tell me go backwards. <laughs> you, you clear, Gavin? All right, now go ahead and bring your truck back, the traffic control back in. We're ready to open them up. And I need help dragging cable. Should be able to do just one line this time, Gavin. Just, just the white. Let me get my winch brake set. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. Hold on, bud. Okay, go with white. Hold on. There you go. Go, go with white. Whew, that was close. Watch yourself, Ethan. Watch yourself. Hold on, buddy. I got you. All right. Got it? All right. Sorry, I was getting the outrigger set up. We should be good. We should be good now. There you go. Oh yeah, baby. Release your brakes. Now we got her. Yeah. Yep. Well, it was it was down under there pretty good. Well, I want to get his drives up past where you and I are, past this line, before we let him go, because he's got uh, straight treads on that truck and they got no traction. I know. I see it. I see it. Well, no, I was just looking at the treads. They're street treads. Yeah. That, that's all they are. Straight tread. No lugs. There's this divot right here. I'm going to get your drives past that before I stop pulling. That way, you're good and solid. Because right now, you're still sinking and your cleats are full. you got no traction.
Just steer it like you're going to come right on up out of there. Yeah, did you see, did you hear the winch bog down? That's why I wanted those drives up past that. Because he's going uphill and with those treads full, as soon as he puts it in drive, it just sinks. We get him up past there and we is good. Here, you want to bring it home? I should have let you do that further. Further on. Go ahead. It's on high right now and all everything else is released. Gavin, watch your back. You got traffic coming. Nope. Just just watch your back. I don't want you getting hit. Don't turn your back on traffic. That's all right, keep, keep going forward. Straighten them out just a little bit. I know it seems counterproductive, but trust me, okay? I want that front tire right up here. Whoa, you stop. Turn right just a little bit. Small. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now go. All right. Hold, everybody. You hold. Hold. Put it in gear and see if you can move on your own. Keep going. Keep going. All right. We'll stop. Let's break it down. Hold on, Ethan. Break it down. We'll break it down, I'll pull forward, and you pull in right behind me. We'll shut it, we'll shut it down long enough to give you room to swing out, okay? Let me know when I'm clear to move forward, Ethan. You out of the way? You clear? I thought you had that covered. All right, can you real quick? Back up, Gavin. Back up, let him through, please. We just jumped the gun just a little bit. It's all right. We got this. Watch your back, Ethan, watch your back. Clear? All right, now jump out there, Gavin. All right, send him. Send him, Ethan, send him, send him, send him. I'm not worried about the cone. I'm not worried about the cones. Let him, get him out of there. Go ahead and back in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's put everything up and go home. All right, ladies and gentlemen. He is out of there. That turned into a whole lot bigger job than we thought. Anyway, he's there. He's out. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.